I'm a blow <laughs> Good morning guys, so today I'm starting the ACT trail, um, running super late, I had a bit of a lie-in and breakfast, so it's already 11am, so hopefully we can do all of day one, but we'll see how it goes on. Hey guys, it's such a beautiful day, and yeah, I'm excited, I kind of wish I had got the momentum to get going sooner. Um, yeah, I'm going to buy a tent, it's definitely getting warm enough to camp now, so um there's a store in two days I can go and check out some tents, so that's coming soon, but let's get on the trail. Just going off-road now, this is the real deal. How beautiful is this? This is such easy terrain, but it's steep and the bike does not like uh, does not like it, it's uh, it's it needs a push start. <laughs> I've got uh, the higher gearing back on, so we'll see how it goes. Ooh, this is what I've been missing riding my bike off road. ACT this morning, it's been an absolute hoot, beautiful views, fast flowy off-road, exactly what it said on the tin and what I expected and it's been such a brilliant morning. So, um, the ACT is beginner friendly off-road track through Portugal and there is, I don't know if you can see that in the sun, there's a, an option to do a more difficult loop here, the red loop. And I'm pretty confident, considering how easy this has been, I could handle it. Obviously, the question is, can my little C90 handle it? So I'm debating just going to check it out. And, you know, as far as I can see, I can turn around for now. Go and check it out, I think, and then I can turn around. In a video. <laughs> Look at this view. I don't know if you can see the river down there. Brap brap. Holy moly, look at this. I just want to live here.
this is looking a little techy, but worst case we turn around, eh? So um, yeah, let's see what it has to offer. Not too shabby, but struggling with power a little bit here. I hit this semperong and into the fence first proper crash hopefully everything's okay I did hurt myself, I landed on my feet, I knew it was going to happen, so I just freaking boom. I knew I was going too quick. Because I went in and it was way deeper than I expected. So I just jumped off. It was just a silly moment, I just sh should have gone a bit slower through that puddle, but all part of it. Bikes are a bit flooded. Hmm. Ooh. She's good. She's good. Make sure I didn't leave anything drop anything. Um, gloves, jacket, panniers, holding on. Hopefully, uh, I was getting excited I was because this is the end of the difficult track so uh, got a little too excited. <laughs> but yeah, what, what a morning. Um, yeah, just, the fence was already broken, I'm not taking <laughs> anything from that but yeah I didn't drop anything Woo! cattle with donkeys as you do <laughs> and good views, what more can you want? to make I have a decision to make there's another 
harder section, which I really want to do because the other one wasn't that bad. But um, it's three o'clock already. I'm <laughs> still quite a ways away because I set off late. So I don't know which is for the best. <laughs> Amazing, eh? <laughs> hard and if I run out of time or run out of time I'll just take a tarmac and maybe do the rest of the route tomorrow. I knew that this was going to be a gem and I just had to come and do it. Around that corner, the bike will stay up. Oh, it's just this corner, and I can walk the bike up that if I need be. It's just a bit tight with the rocks. Okay. I'll probably ride it, but why risk it when I can just be safe, you know, when I'm on my own? Hopefully, that's the only reason it's hard.
stationed on the ACT. Keep trying with second gear, I've said this all day and it doesn't want to second gear here. It's pretty, uh, well, I guess you've got ground clearance, you just, you're on for the ride, you know. <laughs> I'm not on for the ride if I hit myself. The villagers here are so cool, everyone sits out and talks to each other. Hey, everyone just says hi. Great. Hey guys, I made it to the fuel stop on the ACT route and there's a little festival going on so we're going to check out the music and then i think i'm going to call it a day so i'll see you at my accommodation i think <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> in my place, uh, Yechida. Uh, Yechida. Yeah, yeah. And uh, uh, how you guys? Cheers. Si. Uh, in your language? No. Uh, no, uh, brind. Uh, uh, salud. 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 A cake, uh, cake, uh, uh, cake, sleeping, dormido, Hi guys, I just wanted to show you the sunset. How amazing is this? So I was powering along to get to my couch surface at a reasonable time, and there was these bikers stood outside. And they all were waving and like telling, like doing this as like to come in for a drink. And I sped past them and I was like, this is a good opportunity, like let's go meet some local bikers. So I turned back around and they were the nicest bunch of guys. They gave me beer, they gave me a beer, some food, local chorizo, local delicacies. It's been such an epic day and what a way to finish it. And then to top it all off, look at this sunset. So I'm heading to my couch surface now. Hopefully he won't be uh, too upset. Hopefully he won't be too upset. I'm so bleeding late. But what a day, eh? What a day. You can't plan. You just can't plan for shit like that. Hey guys, thanks for watching. And if you could subscribe and like. Cheers. It helps me out. See you on the next one.